on this channel we only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. I'm cold. I'm cold like Obama. Do you know what is going on? Let me tell you guys what's going on right now. Kopama just won the youngest Premier League player award for the season 2023-2024. He just won that award right now. You know, say so when we talk about this uh, youngest player, I told you guys that when it comes to the youngest player, definitely, I don't think they will rob him of that. You understand? I don't think they will rob Kopama of that award. Even say if this pre uh, Premier League, uh, this thing, Player of the year, self. If care is not taken, if care is not taken, I know that definitely they will bring in club and uh, this team performance too in that area. But this uh, youngest player award in Premier League is well deserved. He deserved this award. Take it or leave it. I'm very happy for him. And I believe that Chelsea fans at large will be very, very happy for him because the boy has done very, very well for himself. For me, for me, take it or leave it. Kopama is the best signing this season. Go and argue it anywhere. Go and argue it. See, I'm not saying it because of I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm just being realistic here. Kopama is the best signing. Is the best signing. Is the best signing this season. I don't know for next season. I don't know who they go sign next season. Where go come up as the best signing. But for me, Kopama is the best signing this season. Ah ah. Twenty two goals. Behind Ellen Haaland at that age, with 10 assists, at that age, carrying Chelsea, half of Chelsea boarding on his shoulder this season. Ha! You know easy now. You know easy. This Chelsea, where they like this. Even at this state, where Chelsea did, where Chelsea did very poor this season, we still produce youngest player of the season. Our for you. You need to you need to give us you need to clap for us. We don't try to as club. And Kopama don't try for himself. The boy has tried. I don't go like give you joke aside to say Chelsea been there in a very good spot this season, like second. You show me say even this player of the season, say if they forgive him. Player of the season, they for if they give him to, I won't be surprised. If they give him player of the season, I won't be surprised. Because he deserve him. The boy deserve any award where they will give him. Any uh, as far as saying an award where they will give him for England, he deserve all of them. The guy has done well. He has done, he has played very well. He has shown that he has that quality. You go pay me say guy, that's how I get no carry this boy go uh, Euro 2024. You go pay me, but if you don't carry him too, no problem. At least he go save us the cost of saying that uh, somebody like Obama went to Europe and come back with injury. No wala. But you go pay me say no go carry him. Because last, last, after everything, they no, they feel no career. Because they were talking, they confused. Looking at the the talents and where they England right now, they feel they confused. You understand? But any idea, this guy has done well. You can drop some quotes, drop some comments, drop anything you want to drop about Kopama. But for me, at the stance now, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm very happy. The least sign you will not be expected to perform. Come out become one of the best signing which else he makes so far this season. Well, um, according to rumors and speculations, because I tell Nana after the season end, which you go the year Nana more of transaction uh, transfer rumors and speculation. I right? they always be players the whole they expect players who would speculate say ah this one fit come or this one fit no come or you understand. Now with the year say Manchester United, in respect of the fact say they they put eye for Kukurela to bring him in last season on a loan spell. But you know, later work out, you understand. Now, with a year based on rumor to say Manchester to see they put I for him, body. You understand? Like Manchester see they put I for Corella, but they say he's still on their list of players. Maybe say this season, if after then do their clear because with the year say man, man, you want to do some, some clearing, like they want to say they will sell so many players this season. Then buy some fresh, fresh fruits this season. You understand? So, Kukurela are there among those fresh fruits where we say they fit sign. And we don't the yard and sell from the Chelsea side to say they fit sell Kukurela this summer. But for me, I still talk and say, make the no sell Kukurela. They should not touch Kukurela. They should leave him again for another season. Let's see what will happen. 
You understand? They should leave him for another. I know since I see speculations and rumor. If it we feel they talk him as speculation, but once it with rumor, when you don't hear say player did like this, player did like this, before you go, no, rumor fit turn out to be true. You understand? Every player we see for Chelsea today, they were once speculated and rumored on before you see them come to Chelsea or you see the Chelsea selling them out. You grab? Just like uh, this guy, what was his name? Missy Mount. After much talk about contracts, Missy Mount to sign contract today, Missy Mount, this one, that one, that one. Last, last, Missy Mount land for Manchester United. And if you see the way we man you room of Inkari spread, that it will spread past Bayern own. But we are not seeing. Messi Mount going to Mayu because we always see Mayu as one of those our rival. We don't we've been they see Messi Mount going to Bayern, but Mayu own it was it was magical. You understand? But it don't happen. It don't happen. So, Cucurella to Manchester United. Let's see how it goes. If the club will still sell Cucurella, because in respect of the fact that Cucurella is performing very well, trying to put himself together, Chelsea is also looking for a left back. I, I hope you guys know Chelsea is looking for a left back. Chelsea they find left back. And also, me, I am at him. They go sell him too. They go sell him. And when they ask the Dortmund to one conclude, one make him deep permanent. So Cucurella, let's see how it will go for him. Because if Chelsea should conclude on signing a new left back, definitely they they, they will have to sell either Cucurella or Benchiwe. But Benchiwe being our vice captain. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let's watch how it goes. Then, moving forward, um, this other rumor of Chelsea keeping tab on Manuel Ugate's case with uh, Paris Saint Germain. Um, Ugate was one player that Chelsea would have final. Ugate would have been the first player, the first midfielder we would have signed even before um, Moses Cass. And even when um, Ugate put us put, put us inside this Moses Cass, I don't want fifteen million pounds deal. With Brighton, take it or leave it. Play away, we say we don't already conclude. We don't people don't already want not to just fly, send people come in, sign, then fly coming land for medical. You don't they prepare, you sure you don't they prepare for medical already. All of a sudden, PSG just bring one kind of offer. We say no, if you reject, you go PSG. And I don't know how far high in performance they for PSG because I need to watch France League. At the same as League, we say since now, they want people they win. Nothing come out. I even prefer to the watch Spanish and Italian than France League. You understand? So Ugati, Ugati being monitored by Chelsea or more. I know the reason now because for now, I not I don't expect Chelsea to put eye for midfield. And also the other side to where with the yeah, the other rumor to concerning this same Ugati to with the yeah, say to if Chelsea should bring in Ugati, it will be a replacement for Konogalaga. That's crazy. That's crazy. If it's if if with this rumor that we are hearing that it's going to be like that, it's going to be a crazy one. You are going to say Galaga to to replace him with Ugati. See any player will be say when would Chelsea be need them most, you know, come. Then right now, when they ask the Chelsea, they put eye still put eye for your body, say one well, bring and come. Especially when we don't already conclude to bring you come. You can't turn back, turn 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 your back on us. Baba made they no reason that player. Take it or leave you got it on. I know say Chelsea been delayed for you got a deal. They mean delay small because they they may see they monitor the situation. You understand? Transfer, you know, go just see player, don't wake up one sign and no. You go monitor the situation, monitor how the player they do, check everything. Ugati is a fine player, no doubt. You understand? Pairing Ugate and Moses Casido would have been good. Pairing Ugate with Enzo would have been good. But what can we say? Now he make us go sign Moses Casido for 115. So for me, for me. Even though Chelsea won't do anything, even though they want to say Galaga, bring you Gatti, for me it will be a bad one. Instead, they should leave Conor Galaga and give him the contract. You understand? Because Manuel Gatti, Baba Livamo, he good for you for he good for your own side, but I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Me and just chill. Me and just chill. You understand? Make Manuel Gatti just chill. That'll be what we need right now. Then also, um, Pochettino message to the fans during the press conference today. If you watch from the starting, if you watch that press conference video, this the start of video in this smile. You know why in this smile? Joy day now. You know me first straight game. I need get hope saying go take Chelsea go Europe. You understand? Unlike other press conferences, it's always you they see, you they see anger, you they see pain. But now pre, in the go press conference, they smile. You grab. Let's watch. He told the fans that they should trust in the process. 
Now we're waiting to say more trust in the process. Well, that's all we have to do. We just have to trust in the process and see what will happen, how next season will look like under, a, under its management and also inclusive of new players, especially experienced players, not just new players, experienced players, because currently that is what Chelsea need. Take it or leave it. I know that we have talent. We have young, young talents, which in the next 10, in the next five, six years coming, Chelsea, Chelsea won't be the Chelsea we want. No, Chelsea will be something more than even Man City because of the kind of talents they have. You understand? But even at even even if Posh is doing very well lately right now, can he do better more than what he's doing right now next season? Can he? Well, like he said, let's trust in the process. That is all I have to say. For me, I would just pipe low for now when it comes to Pochettino issue. Then he also he also talked about Christopher Nkunku. He said that he's going to assess Christopher Nkunku. You know, say Modric don't go injury you now. And Sterling to never still find him fit. Leaves saying coming uh, against Nottingham Forest score, he never still find him fit well. So when they talk about Christopher Nkunku, he was saying something about Christopher Nkunku. He was saying that we have to assess him tomorrow to see if he's going to start against Bonamont. You understand? So let's see how it goes. For me, I'm just happy that somebody like uh, Nkunku, Disasi, and Gusto, France did not call them. It's not that it's not good, though. It's, 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 not, it's good that they did not call them. Or no, no, no. Normally, they're supposed to call them at least another honor for their shoulder. But looking at the states in which the, the club is right now, if you call them now, go the Euro. If you don't play some of them, if you play some, and if you play some, they pick injury. Now we go, now our own body go tell us. You understand? Because next season, the competition is going to be more. The competition is going to be more, and we need players to be fit. Once players are fit, we are good to go. We can see it in our last games now, right now. Now, because of we get players the way they fit, we get options then to gamble with. That is why you see us doing exploits on the pitch there. You understand? So, I just believe that um, Kunku will start against Bonamont because Truth be told, I've not really seen more of that guy. Take it or leave it. I've not seen more of him. I want to see. I want to see that in Kunku I watch in Arubi Leaves. Take it or leave it. I want to see it. I've not really seen more of Kunku. You understand? But the joy right now is that I am cold. I am cold because Kopama just won the youngest player of the season in the Premier League 2023-2024 season. You can drop your good comments about it. And also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow this page. Because on this channel, I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters.